it's Mallory here with cats.com and in this video we're talking about the top things that cats actually love. We do a lot of things to try to make our cats happy and it can be hard to know if they're actually things that are appreciated and if our cats actually like them. So in this video I wanted to go over some of the things that cats by and large genuinely love. The first thing that cats tend to love, and which I think goes kind of under discussed and under recognized, is mental stimulation. Cats love sensory stimulation, having their minds engaged, having something to do and experience. And they are not as happy when they're in kind of dull, uninteresting environments. So if you've ever had an indoor cat who has gotten a taste of the outdoors and become absolutely obsessed with it, you'll know that cats like being in engaging environments. So there's a hunting component to it where the cat is naturally inclined to want to hunt things. But I think there's also just an overall sort of sensory experience that cats enjoy. I've seen it with my own cats where they just love being outside, feeling seemingly the breeze on their whiskers, the grass under their paws, getting the opportunity to eat grass while they're out there. There's just so much to see and feel and experience outside that they don't get to experience indoors. So this isn't to say your cat should be outside. Certainly supervised outdoor time or time in a catio is fantastic, but there are other ways to give your cat that stimulation. One way is to simply let your cat sniff food while you're preparing it or eating it. Um, another is to give your cat plenty of environmental enrichment with trees and scratchers and hiding spots. Another is to play with your cat. And another is to train your cat. Working on training with your cat, specifically clicker training with rewards to do certain tricks and you know anything that comes to mind, that's really stimulating for the cat. There's a new game called the Click Crusade by the creators of Outdoor Bengal, and I really love the concept. It's a card game that gives you a sort of structured path towards training your cat. It's a great way to give the training process some structure and allow you to track it. So you can check that out linked in the description. I've, I've known Albert from Outdoor Bengal for some time and I wanted to give him a little shout out. The second point is kind of adjacent to the first and it is hunting. Cats love to hunt. Again, I think the things that cats love the most are the things that kind of tie into their place um, in this whole ecosystem. So a cat is a predatory creature. They seem to feel the most fulfilled when they are getting the opportunity to hunt and they're able to act as predators. And so most of us aren't going to want to let our cats actually hunt wild animals, but it is always beneficial for those cats to have regular play sessions. And it seems like our cats feel the most fulfilled when they get that real stimulation of hunting and catching uh, prey, whatever that prey may be. On a similar note, cats love routine. Um, again, a cat's life kind of revolves around these day-to-day -day rhythms. They're crepuscular creatures, they're most active at dawn and then at dusk, and then they're napping throughout the day. And when those rhythms are kind of consistent, cats tend to be the happiest. They also love having a place to survey their territory. Cats are territorial animals. They're also susceptible to attacks from bigger prey animals, right? And so they appreciate having a place where they can sit and be safe and survey their world from above. That's why vertical territory, elevated territory is really beneficial for cats. So if you can give your cat a nice tree, a perch, someplace they can sit and survey their world from above, that's going to be much appreciated. Next, cats love softness. There's this quote I think about a lot from uh, veterinary surgeon and writer James Harriet that says cats are connoisseurs of comfort. And if you've noticed a cat walk into a room, you'll know that they're really good at finding the one kind of soft spot in the room and just starting to knead it and have a wonderful time settle down right there. They also love warmth, and this kind of ties into their snooziness. It also connects to the fact that cats descended from desert uh, wild cats, and so they tend to appreciate slightly warmer environments. So you'll notice that your cat seeks out warmth, whether that's a sunbeam or a radiator or a heated bed you got for them. They love to be warm. Cats love freedom. So cats don't like to be coddled. They don't like to feel stuck, whether that's in the litter box, 
or where they want to be able to jump out and run away if they need to, or in your bed, they don't want to be stuffed under the covers in most cases, or if it's in a carrier. Cats don't like to be confined and held and smothered. They like to be able to control their own bodies and control their own positioning and control their own location. They want to be able to do things on their own terms. So anything that you can do to allow your cat some choice in their day to day is going to be much appreciated. The next thing that cats love is cleanliness. You'll notice that your cat cleans up after every meal. They like themselves to be clean. They don't want to have any foreign smells or textures on their bodies. They also like a clean litter box. They love to have a good, safe, comfortable place for them to use the litter box. When it comes to a more emotional sort of love and affection and attachment, they do seem to love their feline friends and family. So while cats are solitary hunters, this doesn't mean that they're entirely solitary creatures who don't form bonds with other cats. In nature, cats will form into colonies and especially female cats will spend a lot of time with their family members. They will form strong bonds with these family members. And we've seen that when two cats are separated for whatever reason, the remaining cat will show signs of grief. So there's every indication that cats form affectionate, close bonds with other cats in their community. And then the last thing that cats love, they're humans, they're owners, some would say they're guardians. They love the people they live with. And you know, when, whenever we talk about a cat's perception of the world, it's impossible to really say anything unequivocally or to um, equate their experience to something in our minds. So you can't say that the, the feelings that they're experiencing are exactly the same as what you're experiencing. But what we see in cats does seem to be an equivalent of what we would consider to be love. Cats seem to have feelings of trust and safety around certain humans that they don't have around other people or the world in general. They seem to feel excited when they see those humans and they seem to show the same sort of affectionate bonding behaviors that they would exhibit towards their feline family members. What do you think? I, I would love to hear if you've had any experiences with your cat that made you realize that they really, really do care about you or if they saved you from something or they showed you some sign that made it absolutely clear that they cared. I would really love to hear these stories in the comments. But yeah, that's about it for me. I hope that this video was informative uh, and gave you some ideas for what you might be able to do to fill your cat's life with more love and happiness. I'll look forward to seeing all of your comments. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week. Thank you so much, bye.